Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, it looks like it's too much club on this one. This would be a great up and down from this spot. How close was that to going down? Putting for par. And the putt drops. Now even par heading down the stretch. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That should find the fairway. Playing from around 230 yards. Looks like they've got the five wood. Not quite sure about the strike on that one. This could be heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. Whew. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Here we are at the 17th tee. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. That was wonderfully done. 14-footer. Uh, Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Well played. And that will take him to one under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Well struck. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. And this putt for a final score of 67. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And that brings to an end his event. So it'll be a top 20 finish for this player. Some positive signs there, but still some stuff to work on. A couple of bright spots in there. A top 20 finish in the PGA Tour event is still a solid showing. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now.